welcome back to my channel. So today I am sharing with you what is in our Easter baskets for this year. Yes, that's plural. Some of you are probably wondering why I would have more than one basket to be sharing with you when we only have one child, but not only am I doing a basket for our son Gunner, who is two and a half years old, I am also putting together a basket and sending it to my niece Oakland, who is 18 months old. So I thought that I would show everything that I got for both of them and just give you a good mix of ideas of things that you can do for baskets this year. And not only ideas for a boy, but also for a girl, as well as different age ranges. So I am so excited to be sharing with you all of these really cute and fun finds that I have for this year. Everything that I got for Oakland was a dollar, including her basket, which is my absolute favorite thing. I cannot wait to share that with you guys. Um, and then everything that I got, well, mostly everything that I got for the both of them came from either the Dollar Tree or Target. Let me go ahead and start with Oakland's basket first. So this is her basket. And how cute is this, you guys? I am seriously so in love with this basket. I saw it weeks ago at the Dollar Tree and I knew that it would be perfect for her. I knew that this was exactly what I wanted to get for her. I think she is just so cute. I love the detailing of the fabric on the ears, the pink with the little polka dots. And then of course the same fabric is on the inside. They also have blue ones for boys as well. And they had a ton of different baskets to choose from. I actually, I really wanted to get this one for Gunner in the blue, but it's just not quite big enough for what I need with all of his stuff. I don't know how Dollar Tree gets away with <laughs> everything being a dollar like how do they make money because stuff like this is so cute I just I don't even know how they do it but I am like so in love with this basket so I'm gonna show you everything that I am putting in her basket this year so the first thing that I have is some sidewalk chalk and I got this from Dollar Tree the dollar spot at Target also has sidewalk chalk that is what I typically get for Gunner every year um, and it works just fine these are a little bit bigger the ones from the Dollar Tree and they come in different colored containers so I really liked the green I thought it was really pretty but you get red it's kind of like a reddish pink color green yellow blue and orange the next thing that I got are these really cute and fun glittery bunny rabbit glasses these are also from the Dollar Tree and they're pretty messy I mean I already have glitter all over me so I'm sure they're gonna love me for that but listen I thought these would be really fun especially for like a little like photo prop for Easter um, I just think that this would be really cute and for a dollar I mean I don't think it's that big of a deal I also yeah see there's like glitter all over this so I also got this cute little rubber ducky for her to use in the bathtub this also came from the Dollar Tree they had other different colors to choose from um, but I love how it looks like he's just popping out of his little Easter egg. Um, and I just thought this would be a fun little toy for her to use in the bathtub. Um, and I think they, I know they had like white, I want to say there was like purple and maybe a blue version of this as well. And then from the Target dollar spot, I picked up these cute little sunglasses. They had so many sunglasses there. Really, really cute ones. I feel like the selection for the girls was a little bit better than the boys, but I just loved these. I thought these were so darling, these little flower shaped glasses, and then they have like the silver and glitter. I just thought these would be so precious on her. She has red hair, and I just think these are just gonna be super cute on her for spring and summer. And then I also got this fun little bunny rabbit to stick in her basket. This came from the Dollar Tree as well, and they have different ones to choose from. They actually had a ton of different animals that you could get. I just really loved this one. I felt like the quality of this one was a little bit better than some of the other ones they had. Um, but they had like a tan colored with the pink, a white bunny with the pink, and then this dark brown like chocolate color. And these actually smell like chocolate. So it says that they're chocolate scented. So I just thought he was adorable. I love this dark chocolate color. I think it's a little different and unique from anything else that I've seen. So I just thought that he would be a cute little addition to her basket. And then I also got her a thing of bubbles. These are the Minnie Mouse bubbles, also from the Dollar Tree. She's really starting to get into Minnie and Mickey now, so I thought that this would be a really fun thing for her to start playing with. Also from the Dollar Tree are these mini gummies and stickers. I don't really know if they allow her to have candy. I 
don't think that they're like really strict about that stuff um but I don't know so I thought gummies were pretty harmless and I figured if they don't allow her to have them then somebody else can eat them or they can send them back to me because I love gummies. The other thing that I got, okay, so this was the only thing that wasn't a dollar. I forgot. I got these this weekend actually when I was getting groceries and I just picked these up on a whim because I just had to. They're so cute. But it's these little bunny rabbit cotton candy packs. Um, so I love it. I think it's adorable. So it's this little bunny rabbit and his little bow tie. I want to say these were like a dollar fifty or something. So they weren't much more than a dollar. And this little guy I already took out of the packaging, but he came from the Dollar Tree as well, and he's just this cute little wind-up bunny rabbit. They also had little yellow chicks as well, but he just hops, and I just couldn't pass it up for a dollar. I just thought it was just a cute little addition, and I was such a sucker for that cute little cottontail. I just, I had to have it, so I was like, okay, you're coming with me, and you're going in her basket too. And then from Target, I picked up this bunny flatware set. I thought it was really cute. It's just a really pretty lavender color with the Easter bunny on it. I get these all the time from Target for Gunner, and we really like them. Um, I really prefer like the metal utensils for him to use, especially at his age. It's just a little bit easier because they have a little bit of a weight to them. Um, so it's easier for them to use and maneuver while they're trying to eat. So I thought this would be fun for her. The last like food slash candy item that I got for her was just this little packet of M&Ms. These are the mini M&Ms and this is the smallest container you can get of them. I feel like M&Ms are pretty harmless. So I thought that, that would just be a cute little addition. And then the very last thing that I got for her basket is this pack of Easter window clings. There we go. Um, and the Target Dollar Spot also had some, um, but these came from the Dollar Tree, and I just thought they were so cute and so pretty. Um, Gunnar loved playing with these at her age. He still does, and I just feel like this would be a really fun activity for her to do as well. So moving on to Gunner's basket. Um, every year I usually go with some sort of Easter bucket for him versus a traditional Easter basket. I just feel like at his age, he's not quite ready for a basket per se. Not that there's anything wrong with it if anybody else does that, but I know growing up, like we always had a traditional Easter basket, but it was one that we got to pick out and it was the same one that we used year after year after year. And I don't feel like he's quite old enough to do that yet and to really like understand it. He's just gonna wanna play with it. He's probably gonna destroy it. And I just don't wanna spend a lot of money on a nice basket when it's not gonna last very long. So we really like the buckets. He loves to play with them afterwards. He puts his toys in them. He likes to carry them around and haul things in them. The one that I got for him this year, it came from Target and has little dinosaurs on it. Actually, the one that I got for him last year had dinosaurs on it, but he loves dinosaurs, so I thought that this would be really fun. I've gotta say, like I was really disappointed this year with their selection at Target. Um, they have some really cute ones, but I usually every year get them like the big metal buckets and they had the metal ones there But they were the smaller ones and I really want one that's larger like I want a good size one I mean in this one I'm probably gonna be pushing it with everything that I got him. I probably went overboard Okay, I know that I went overboard, but I am such a sucker for holidays and I just I don't know. I just love like buying for him. He's our only child right now and we're blessed enough to be able to do it. So this is the one that I got for him. These are $3, which is a really good deal. Um, they have a bunch of different ones to choose from. I feel like the ones for the girls are a little bit cuter. I wasn't like super wild about all the prints for boys. Um, but nonetheless, he will love the dinosaur and he will definitely use this over and over and over again this year. I only got him one Easter book this year because he already has like a bunch of Easter books to begin with. Um, so the one that I got him was from Target and it is the Paw Patrol Count on the Easter Pups book. He is really into Paw Patrol right now. I just thought this book was like really cute. It just has all of the little characters in it and it's an Easter story. So I think he's going to really love this. I also got him a new bubble gun. So he had one of these before, but he broke it last year and we just never replaced it. And I also picked this up at Target. I know you can get these 
pretty much anywhere. This one is very similar to the one that he had before. It lights up, it shoots the bubbles. They had a bunch of different colors as well. Um, so I went with the green one just for something different, but he loves these things. Um, and he loves playing with this with Bailey. He loves to shoot the bubbles out and, and Bailey, our dog, um, she loves to just jump up and try to catch the bubbles and he thinks it's hysterical. So that's always like a fun thing that they can do. So I did want to get him a new one of those. And then he's also really into stickers, of course. I think most toddlers are. So I picked him up a few different um, things of stickers that he can play with. So we have like a Sea Life one. This is the Shark Adventure. We have Critter Camp. And then this one is the All Star sticker book. And they just have like really cute like sports themed stickers in this one. And then of course this one is like all like animals and just like camping stuff on it. Um, so these will be fun things that he can do and just playing with them. These are also good just to take like when we go out to dinner and stuff like that. Um, and then the shark one is really cute. It has like surfing stuff and pirates and um, like sea life on it. So these I got from Michaels. They were a dollar a piece, but they ended up being on sale and they were 47 cents a piece. So I thought that was a really good deal. And then also from Target, I got this in the dollar spot, um, but they're just these foam bath toys. I don't think that they do anything special, but again, he loves dinosaurs. So this is just another fun little thing that he can play with. And then I... <laughs> I got him some water guns. These I got from the Dollar Tree. I was actually going to get him the Nerf ones, um, but he has a Nerf like Spider-Man motorcycle that shoots bullets and it is really hard for him to like cock it back and pull the trigger. It's even hard for me to do it. So I can't even imagine how hard it is for him. And I was testing out some of the Nerf ones in the store and the triggers on them are really hard to push. And I know that like he's a little young for them, like based on the age range that they put on them. Um, but he still likes them. And I thought water guns would be really fun for us to play with. Um, this summer, especially when it gets really hot because we live in the south and it's just like it gets miserable here. So I thought these would be like something fun for us to do, especially as a family. I should probably pick up another one so all three of us can have one. But I decided to get these from the Dollar Tree. They only had these two colors, so I got one of each. But what I really like about these is that the trigger is really easy to push. So I think if he does really well with these, then maybe we'll eventually upgrade to the Nerf ones. But for a dollar, I feel like these are really nice and like really good quality and they hold a good bit of water. So these will be really fun and just something different aside from water balloons, which we love doing water balloons too, but like sometimes they're a pain, you know, and they're a mess to clean up and to fill and all of that. So those will be fun. And then he's also really into like slime and putty and play-doh right now so I did get him a thing of slime this is glitter slime and this came from the Dollar Tree as well this one is orange it's kind of like an orange tin and then it has like a reddish colored glitter in it and then I did get him two more things of play-doh like I said he loves it right now and he plays with it non-stop like all day long he is playing with play-doh and we go through play-doh pretty quickly um, so I did get him two more new colors um, and these also came from the Dollar Tree. So I got this like bright kind of fluorescent red color and then like this bright yellow or sorry, orange color. Um, so I feel like you can never have too much Play-Doh either. And then also I got him a new thing of slime. I've already taken it out of the package, but this also came from the Dollar Tree. He already has one of these and he loves to play with it. Um, but you know, after you play with it for a while, it starts to harden up a little bit. So I decided to get him a new one because these are just fun for him to play with anyways. Um, and then you cannot have an Easter basket without your chocolate Easter bunny. So um, that was something that we always had growing up every year. We always had our chocolate Easter bunny. And so this year I got him his. This is actually the first year that I've gotten him the chocolate Easter bunny. Um, but this one is made by Russell Stover and it's this cute superhero one which he's really into superheroes too right now um so i thought this one would be really fun it's kind of big so obviously he's not we're, we're probably gonna end up eating this one ourselves we'll probably give him a little bit of it but i think he's just really cute and i think he's gonna absolutely love it okay so <laughs> i 
made the mistake of, okay, I had like everything purchased for the Easter baskets and then I started watching a bunch of my friends and they were sharing their Easter basket videos and then I was just like getting sucked in and I was getting all these new ideas of things that I wanted to get and I was like, okay, Danae, like slow your roll, girl. Like you don't need to be buying all this stuff. But my friend Kaylin, um, I will link to her channel below because she is super sweet. She's beautiful and she has the cutest little boy. Um, she was sharing... Brooks's Easter basket recently and in it she had a beach towel and I thought that was such a good idea because growing up my mom always like did really fun like things like that in our Easter baskets. My mom was always like really big into just doing like themes for every holiday like for gifts and stuff like that and she still is actually and I also love doing that and I'm really big into traditions and so I thought what I would do is just like make it a yearly tradition that every year in his Easter basket or in our kids' Easter baskets, if we have more, um, that we would do like their summer stuff, like their beach towel, their swimsuits, you could do flip-flops, sunglasses, whatnot. So I did pick up a beach towel for Gunner, and this one I got from TJ Maxx, and it's really cute. It has a shark on it um, and some little fish, which I think he is going to love. Um, so I got that, and then I also did pick up a new pair of swimming trunks for him. I got these from Target. These are from the Cat and Jack brand. I thought these were so cute um, and I just love the colors and they actually go really well with his towel. Like I didn't even plan that. I just, they go perfectly. So I thought these were really cute. These were actually on clearance. They were $6.96 um, and I don't know why, but this particular print was on clearance. There's nothing wrong with them. I don't know why they were all on clearance like that, but I thought these were really cute. And then I also got him a hat to go with it because he loves wearing hats. And um, a lot of his are getting too small for him. Um, so I thought it would be fun to get him a new little hat. And so this one just says, let's ride. And it has a shark on it. And so it kind of just all matches with that stuff. Um, and this is also from the Cat and Jack line at Target. So I thought that was really cute. Um, and then I also got him a new pair of sunglasses. So these were from the Target Dollar Spot. I thought these were just a really fun green color. He has several pairs of sunglasses, but he kind of goes through them. He loves to play with them all the time. So I thought these would be really fun to add with it. Um, but then I also from Target picked up this little thing of Reese's Pieces. I thought it was really cute. Just this little carrot shape. And um, this is something that we can all eat and snack on as well. And then, okay, and then the other idea that I got from one of my friends recently, like, I had to stop watching Easter Basket videos because I was like, I'm gonna, I'm like, I'm gonna get myself in trouble, but I'm, I'm officially done. Like, these, this is done. Um, but my friend Clarissa, I will link to her below as well, she was recently sharing her Easter Basket um, for her boys, and her oldest son is around Gunner's age. He's like three weeks, maybe four weeks. Uh, there's there's like a month difference between the two um, but she actually shared this in his Easter basket and I thought it was such a good idea I had to go and get it myself I actually picked this up over the weekend um, but this is from Michaels and it's just that like catch what is it called sticky catch set so it comes with these two like kind of mitt things you know that you slide on your hand and then you have this sticky little ball and I wasn't sure at first about it in the store um, but I was playing with it and the ball actually sticks really well to it because I was like is this really even gonna work but it was three dollars and they had a bunch of colors to choose from and Gunner is really into baseball right now and um, I think we're actually gonna sign him up for a baseball league this summer um, Chris has been working with him a lot and just like batting and throwing and I think this will be a really great way for him to work on his catching skills so I know he's really young but he's already like showing an interest in it and Chris used to play baseball he was actually drafted into the minor league so um, he's like really excited about that so I think this will just be really fun too for the two of them to do or like he and I can do it um, you know as well outside and then I also got him those fun little bunny ear glasses. Again, I think these are just gonna be fun for photos on Easter. And somebody's video I was recently watching, I can't remember who it was, 
but they were talking about how they have these fun glasses that they put in their kids Easter baskets every single year so I loved the idea of doing that so every year they get photos of their kids in the same glasses but they're just getting older so I thought that would be fun to do with these I don't know if they'll make it that long he may just tear them up and destroy them but I thought it would be fun to at least try to do that or at least get some cute pictures with him um, in them for this year and I also picked up this from the Dollar Tree this is the last one they had so I just decided to grab it on a whim but it's just this little Paw Patrol egg and it has little gummy candies in there I doubt that there's that many in there because this thing is like really small um, but I thought it was really cute and he is going to love it and then I also got him the little cotton candy bunny. Um, he loves cotton candy, so I think he will just enjoy this as well. And then I also got him the Mickey version of the gummies and stickers also from the Dollar Tree. And then the very last thing that I got for him also came from the Dollar Tree. And this is just funny. I don't know. I just thought this would be really fun. So it's just this little Easter bunny. And he has these little balls that go in his nose and you just squeeze him and he shoots these balls out. So I just thought this would be really fun for him to play with. Um, again, it kind of goes along with that whole like Nerf gun type thing, which he loves playing with. So I think he'll have fun shooting these balls out and um, yeah. So that is everything that I got for the Easter baskets this year. I hope that you enjoyed this video and got some ideas of things that you can get for Easter as well. Um, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and found it to be helpful. Subscribe if you are new to my channel. I do upload motherhood and lifestyle content on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!